hi people welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how we transformed this bush into a powerful living space it's about a contemporary five bedroom duplex here which we're going to show you the step by step of what we did to set it out and to do the building from foundation to dpc in addition to that we'll also give you the real-time cost in today's Nigeria, December 2023, of constructing this building from foundation to finish. Showing you the construction activities as well as the cost of doing those activities in each of the milestones. Because of the timeline of the construction activity, so many activities were going on at the same time in, in the site. So here is our first day in the site. And as you can see, we had a number of activities going on. One, drilling of water borehole, which is to ensure that we have sufficient water that we need for the construction. So we wouldn't depend on the tankers to do our construction activities. Two, the provision of the temporary site storage facility which the capitals are setting up at one corner of the site and finally the setting out of the building itself which which marks the the beginning of the construction journey after rigorous designing and redesigning and redesigning until we came to an agreement with the client on what he actually wants for us at you make real estate construction services limited the certain activity starts with first of all squaring the building area which implies um, setting out the particular area that is going to be covered by the building inside the land and when this has been done it establishes the area that is going to be covered by the building giving allowance for initial adjustments whatsoever before the detail setting out commences at this point now we had already done the um squaring and now the main pegging had begun now the pegging now involves um putting into position the profile boards taking a measurement away from the line indicating where the blocks of the building starts after squaring the building by myself i then let my foreman and other workers to do the profiling taking a setback of three feet from the um from the lines to establish the points the profiles are going to be to ensure it doesn't obstruct the excavation. Because of the short timeline of the project, we decided to use old zinc for the site storage house since its lifespan will be just about one or two months max. At this point, the drilling of the water borehole was over and they were now pulling out the uh, struts that they used in digging to case the borehole and then um, get ready for flushing it. Looking at this, one will begin to imagine, man, does it mean that it didn't, didn't take time? The truth is, depending on the terrain, water borehole can actually be done within two to three hours. And that's actually what happened here. The guy knew his terrain well, and of course, the land was soft and the water table was good. So it was easy for him to get to where we get a good water and then stop the drilling. Then um, the next thing is to case it. And after casing, then we will uh, cast the head and leave it for one day, then start the pumping. So that is all it is about our water drilling. And you can imagine here, drilling of water borehole is not even costly. Just about 340000 and it was done.
At this point, the profile was ready and it was time to mark out all the spaces as it is on the drawing on the profile board so that it will enable our setting out, bringing out all the um, block walls that we are going to excavate. This is actually where the big aspect of the work is because you have to meticulously establish the block walls establish the foundation lines and by the end of the fact you have to take care of all the spaces in the building the carpenters had already started getting a shape in what they were doing initially it was just looking as if <laughs> if you're not into construction you wouldn't understand what they were doing but as at this point it already started taking shape showing uh, where the water will fall how the rooms are demarcated uh, for the, our storages and of course providing us a shade during harsh weather conditions continued our setting out procedures and of course you have to ensure that whatever you do in one side of the profile repeats itself exactly at the opposite side otherwise if you don't get that correctly that will of course derail the whole process so that's what we continue doing taking our time to ensure that whatever we get here is exactly what we get at the other side at the Setting out is actually a process that takes so much time. Um, sometimes it may take up to two or three hours, depending on the complexity of the project. At this point, we were actually under the scorching sun, trying to ensure that we get it right from the foundation. Because that's actually what informs whether the building will come out square and all the edges come out square by the end of the day. At this point, the setting out on the profile board had been completed, and all that was remaining was to confirm that what we had done is square by tying rope on both sides of one um, measurement and then putting the square around it. Just watch what we are going to do now. Once you confirm it, then you know that the work we did is okay and the work, the excavation starts. Okay. 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 Yeah. So let's use this in our words, then tie this in and uh, you can mark it. Lose this one. 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 So the next activity was now to tie ropes on the foundation lines, to tie the foundation lines and mark that out on the floor to enable the excavators know exactly where to excavate. And that's the activity yeah. we're doing here. When that was completed, then of course, um, the negotiation for the excavation was done and the excavation proper started. You can see how it was marked on the floor to ensure that nothing covers it when they are excavating. And that is how the work of this wonderful project began. It was the second day of work here. At this point, most part of the excavation work had already been done. And we just uh, like perfecting whatever that's been that was remaining uh, to ensure that we get it right. Now you can see the thing has taken shape now.
the temporary storage house which the carpenters are building are taking shape now look at the iron bender he's trying to formulate our rings for the columns and um yeah he's doing it so nicely well just the way um it was recommended just have a look yeah he's okay on the third day here is uh, the other iron benders trying to um tie together our columns using the already formed rings at this point most of the columns had been formed the column based dog and it was time to mount the columns and cast the foundation footings <laughs> You serious? You serious? Don't delay me here. In no distance time, a reasonable amount of the foundation footings were cast. Preparing the ground for the next phase of the job, which is setting out the blocks using the lines as a guide to establish the points all the walls are going to be in. At this point, both the casting of the foundation trenches and the mounting of the, uh, the columns were going on concurrently. Before the block work began, we had a kind of prayer session, blessing the land and committing the whole project into, the, into God's hand. This also marked the laying of foundation ceremony as the minister put the first block of the building by himself. In the name of Jesus Christ. After this activity began the forming of blocks, the setting out of blocks from inside the foundation. As we took we put on the lines and took clues from the lines uh, using a six feet plumb to get the position of the blocks and of course um, square it and get it all the positions of the block walls. Yo, uh... When all the four corners of the building had been squared, then we now started uh, demarcating the internal partitions one after the other and by the end of work the second day every part of the building had come up to the dpc level and here as you can see we had already cast the uh, the shasha pillars that started from the foundation and in preparation for um filling the building area with laterite compacting it and getting it ready for the dpc At this point in this project, we had spent a little above 3 million naira to get it to this point. In the next video, I will tell you exactly how much it cost us to take this project from foundation to DPC. Thank you for being with us this far and we'll keep on giving you real-time cost and real-time construction images of this contemporary project. Also, what do you have noticed the fact that at this point, 
even our temporary storage house was already ready. We had completed it, floored it, and gotten it ready for the materials to come in and of course as a kind of shed for us when we are working. See you in the next vlog.